in terms of shooting, uh, you, you mentioned that your lead videographer is shooting clips. Uh, and even in your training course, I think you mentioned shoot clips that are three to 10 seconds, three to 15 seconds. Why is that? Why not shoot longer, have more video available for each shot? What, what's the disadvantage of overshooting? Um, well, I'll tell you this. The first time we shot, we shot about 200 clips. And, and, and then you got to, you, you, to bring 200 clips down to a one, two, three minute video, <laughs> you know, you're spending a lot of time just to filter that out. And the other thing is, is that because we're outsourcing to have somebody do it, if we shoot the clips on how we want and in the order, we know exactly what we're going to get. Right. So to me, it's an efficiency piece. I do have a videographer. He'll take long clips. He'll shoot clips for a minute and a half. Um, when he starts and stops, it's very apparent on well, where his clips stop. Um, so I do, I don't necessarily suggest that because a lot of people, you know, you'll start to overshoot and overshoot is just going to cost you time. And that's the whole point that we're trying to save here. Right. So I imagine, uh, after you've done a video with MVL media, uh, mvlmedia.com, uh, you kind of realize that if you overshoot, it's taking you longer to download, to upload, to sort through. So uh, this really is a very important tip technique for creating video is don't overshoot and keep your clips short. Now you mentioned shooting them in the order so that the video, the video editor really gets them in, in series. Uh, I, I could imagine you have two choices. You can either shoot them in order or you could organize them before you upload them to MVL media at mvlmedia.com. Um, do, you, do you really race around the house shooting in the order? That, do you recommend doing that? Because it seems like it may take you some more time to say, oh, uh, I need to get the from the kitchen then I want to get to the master bedroom. Then I want, uh, so it, it may be shorter, less time to shoot the rooms as they come to you, as opposed to shoot them in the order that you pre, that you want to present. So let me see, I'll give it a better example. Maybe the bathroom. You want to show the bathroom last, but but the bathroom was one of the first rooms that you that you were walking through because you went from the master bedroom and there's the, the so do you act do you literally go back and shoot that bathroom master bathroom last uh because you it's not where you wanted it in the video i'm trying to understand efficiency uh for yeah. the photographer is it better to, to really take the time and shoot in order or is it better to just sh shoot at in the order that you want and then label the video clips for the editor yeah, well, so let me be clear too on this too, right? Our editors have been trained. Like we have, we they're in house. We've done extensive training with them. Like they they know what are the front shots. They know what are basically the common area shots. They know the bedrooms. They can tell, you know, the larger bedrooms. Like they get that part. But there's always that little bit that we want to help them, right? 